Hello and welcome to another episode of the John Cena Diaries. We want to first address, uh, sorry that it has taken us so long to get another episode out here. We've been kind of going through a few things, changing jobs. We went to Europe for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about that. Like, no. Really, we're not allowed to talk about that. We may or may not have gone somewhere. To a different country. Yeah. Uh, to escape the legal grasp of the United States. But uh, on top of that, we also uh, have been kind of trying to find a new direction for the show. We're not super happy with where it's been. If anyone's watched all of them, you've seen that it's kind of been shifty going back and forth. It's we, been, we it's never, been real shifty. Yeah, it's been real shifty. <laughs> <laughs> we really haven't been able to find like a direction that we really want to go with the show. Uh, it's It just kind of keeps changing. It's a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, so uh, we pitched around the idea that we really want to do like a sit-down playthrough of a game, but we still want to incorporate the champ himself, John Cena. So what we've kind of settled on so far is that we're both huge fans of Skyrim. We both loved it, and with the remaster coming out in a couple months here, it's the perfect chance for us to bring John Cena into Skyrim and do kind of a sit-down actual playthrough of a game while still keeping it kind of fun and lighthearted. So that's what we're planning on doing in the future. Coffee with Cena? Coffee. Cheers. So, yeah, I mean, we're we're gonna have to throw around a new name. Coffee with Cena just sounds. Uh, I, I don't like it. We'll work on it. Do you have an idea? You toss that in the comments. But uh, until then, we're gonna try to keep getting uh, follow-up four episodes out as often as we can. We're both kind of busy, but we do enjoy doing it. So it's a lot of fun. Um, so really, um, now that we are putting another episode out. Um, we really found the perfect uh, way to get these episodes out. Like, before there was just not enough time and we just didn't have enough money. Um, well, money was not an issue. Not, but well, money's never been an issue for me. No. Uh, not, that we're, not that we're being paid to make these episodes. No. But, um... Yeah, no. I mean, these are, these are completely unsponsored. No, 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 no. We are not sponsored in any way. Yeah, we're definitely not at all sponsored by the, paid by the crisp, refreshing, exceptionally smooth taste of Michelob Golden Light. Wow, Tori, that looks really good. Do you think I could have some? Well, sure, Tyler, why don't you take a sip? Okay. How does that taste, Tyler? Exceptionally smooth. Nicolo Golden Light. And his name is John C. <laughs> Alright, let's go hunting. Uh, what we thought we were going to do today is uh, have, get a few beers in us. You know, do what any civil American person would do. You get a few beers in you, and then you go hunting. That's what, that's what America's all about when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it. Mm-hmm. That's what the Founding Fathers would have wanted. George Washington, shit-faced, went on hunts all the time. Didn't even need an orange vest. Safety? What's that? All right. It was a safer time back then. Mm-hmm. People didn't just do crazy things like they do nowadays. Mm-hmm. And you know what? John knows that guns are the problem. He doesn't need to hunt with guns. Why do you think he never uses them? Exactly. He's very against the Second Amendment. You know, the right to bear arms. Uh, he's got his own arms. Yeah. And that's as far as he takes that constitution. Let me tell you, they uh, pack more of a punch than any firearm could. <sighs> Labels out, Tori. Not, not because we're sponsored or anything. No, this is this is an unsponsored gaming series that happens to be powered. Powered is the keyword. Powered, not not sponsored, by the cool, refreshing taste of Michelob Golden Light. All right, I'm gonna hunt. I think I can almost s smell the enemy close by. John's gonna crouch in the. The grassy knoll where JFK was shot from. 
This is actually where it happened. Mm -hmm. and he's gonna hunt. I think we're wrong. I don't think there's anything nearby. No, I can sense it. I know. I can smell the fear. Go to that shack like over there. Like a wild animal. See if there's a person you can hunt. Not that we, you know, do it for fun. We no. do it for survival. We do it to put food on the table. I feel like we're about to get... Ah, nah, they're just bugs. The hunt is on. I'm gonna, was, I'm gonna eat you in front of your friend. That was not, is, that, is that Yogi Bear? Yeah. Gotta put food on the table. Nothing John's more than drawing a little blood to wake him up in the morning. I think it's evening. I don't pretend to know times of the day. I leave that to the smarter people. Mm, a trunk filled with ammo. This delicious Lakeshore Blend coffee is going down very smoothly. Do you think it's an all-American chest? Yes. Do you think John could just kind of like he wouldn't use a gun, but do you think he would ever consider like throwing a bullet in the air and then punching it into its velocity and like he? I mean, he might, but the bullet would probably just explode. Because it would be breaking the sound barrier. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Man, he's gotten really good at punching cars over the episodes. Ah, yes! Now run through the... Oh, did he just miss twice? This is awesome. This is a quick little... Hunter. Right out of the sky. Like Punch. he's shooting ski. You know... John, John missed a couple times, and, you know, that doesn't usually happen. But you know what helps him get his balance back together? Why don't you tell me what helps him get his balance back together, Tyler? I'll tell you. I'll wait. I better wait, to, I better wait to fight this guy. Because if I want my balance, I drink the... What the hell is this garbage? Is that, get that out of here. Sorry about that. He would only drink the cool, refreshing taste of Michelob Golden Light. Michelob Golden Light. Exceptionally smooth. Cold filter. <sighs> wow. You can just taste the Anheuser Bush St. Louis, Missouri in it. Mm. Mm, you can just it's, taste the bush in it. <laughs> it's gotta be the strongest flavor. Mm. I think I got a little bush in my teeth from that. <laughs> I hate when you get the bush in your teeth. It comes through so strong. This dude's a veteran. Oh, you know, John appreciates the veterans, but he's still gonna kill this guy. Oh, I'm gonna wind up for this one. That guy just took the dumbest jump of all time. Oh, get, just get like a running. A running punch at him. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go, oh, go, he's, go. Oh, the prey get, is on get the, him, get the prey him. is on the run. Give chase. Oh wait, get him out of the bushes. We want to be able to see this in all its glory. You think you can run away? Ooh, he was ready for that one. I let him get a. Ooh, Come ooh, on, buddy. Yep. This is how John pays respects to the veterans. All right, buddy, up and easy. We're gonna throw you right here. For that, the world to see. That unsponsored kill would not have been possible without the great, smooth, cold-filtered taste of Michelob Golden Light. <clears throat> Mick Golden. For when you want to kill people. And beat your children. <laughs> Too real, guys. Too real. Cooking station. Sleep in his bedroll thing. Right on the cold, muddy ground. A cushion studded leather right leg. That is, that is, is a that, mouthful. Is that better than ours? Nothing's I mean, nothing's better than John's skin. Is it a right leg? Onyx. Is Onyx a rock? I don't know. Onyx is a, yeah, Onyx is a rock type. 
Let's see if I can crack. Not a rock. I'm not talking about Pokemon. I'm talking about an actual thing. Oh. I got wood. I can make iguana on a stick. I got wood too. I got wood whenever I'm with you, Tori. Stingwing fillet. Are we just gonna pretend you didn't say that? Hmm? Tori, I'm putting food on the table, alright? I'm doing this hunt for both John, the people of the wasteland, and for Michelob Golden Light. Exceptionally smooth. Hey guys, can we do anything to help you out? Really use your help. Hey, they could use our help. help. What do you need? He's glad to help. What do you need? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. Hey, it's we're assisting the people of the wasteland now. Trouble. Now we're really putting food really on the table. Bad, is it? be a nice John knows what he can to get back. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. You can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece. Anyone who decides to move in hey, later... Hey, it's gonna get so. us a new area. No problem. Where is this place? Well, we have a pretty good idea. Yeah, questions. I hope you can find them in one. Yeah, I don't just... I'm not gonna... I can't let him know that I already know where they are. Clearing the way. Sounds a lot like Germany in 1942. <laughs> Clear way. Make way for the, uh... For the war machine. You see, it's a historical joke, Tori. Um, Germany in 1942 was conquering almost the entirety of Central Europe. Oh! How did I not hear about that? What? Hmm? Like, you just... I just heard the Holocaust was, <laughs> like, a, a lie. It was just something, like, it was, like, propaganda. John would be disappointed in you, since he's a great American patriot. Hulk Hogan can step aside. He certainly was the great American patriot. In the blockbuster film, The Marine. That was a good, that was a good movie. It really wasn't. <laughs> it was god-awful. John, of course, his acting chops were, uh, second to none. Yeah, what is that thing? Is that a super mutant? That is a I just covered big ass my super mutant. Right Enforcer. Yeah, well, I'll enforce him. I wish you could be like, to go down at them. a distance and vast and just choose to punch them from there. And John just, yeah, flew like Superman. Just super, yeah, Superman charges in there. Ah, classic. I'd pay to see that. I mean, not that we need the, not that we need to be paid to do things like that. No, because we do this for fun. Yep, this is completely for fun. We don't get paid to do it. It's an unsponsored game series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely no money coming in from third-party companies. Nope, none whatsoever. Anyway, this is a 100% shapeless gaming run operation. Not sponsored by any companies that might. Come out of St. Louis, Missouri. Some of you might think that it's brought to you by the cool, crisp, refreshing, cold filtered taste of Michelob Golden Light, but let me assure you, you'd be wrong if you thought that. We are an unsponsored show. Oh. Um. Oh. You well, know, I'm not I'm not running because like I, I you know I just got I just gotta clear the way for the settlers, you See, know? Yeah, like, the guy He the guy. says he needed our help, but like you know, in our own time, he doesn't need it right now. Like, he was like, get it done whenever. Like, you guys saw it, you heard it. Exactly, like... Oh, oh goodness, oh goodness me. Is that oh me? goodness me. Can that get up there? What are you doing? Where are you on top of? I was just getting rads. You were getting rads? I was getting rads like You're getting Magic real Johnson rad, has dude. AIDS. Like... A lot. Yeah, a lot of AIDS in Magic Johnson. <sighs> like, at least three or four, probably. Oh my goodness! There's so many rads. There's so much AIDS around here. Let's just call rads AIDS now. Alright, works for me. It's pretty much what it is. Just full-blown AIDS. Like easy. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, this settlement isn't anywhere fucking near- Like, there's a settlement nearby. No, there's not. Let's, uh, let's look at a map here, buddy. Where does he expect us? I didn't... He was over here. I wasn't here. paying attention to what he was saying. He was over here. 
There's a settlement nearby, he says. A huh. settlement nearby, yeah. he says. So close to him that they are disrupting his daily life? I don't think so. That's like a three days walk in this world. What? They, okay, this that dude must journey. This dude must just be a douche because if they're taking a three days walk just to piss him off. Yeah, that's not like a, hey, we're doing this to survive. That's like a, they're, this guy's a douche. Let's do anything we can to ruin his life. I almost admire, I almost don't even. Let's go help them. Let's go see if they need anything. Yeah. Hey, is that a motorcycle? Yeah, can you? God, I wish we could ride that. Imagine John just hopping on a Harley riding his way through the wasteland. Imagine John. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, we're under severe thunderstorm warning right now, where we are. Uh, the weather in the game is nicer than the weather outside. Where are we, Tori? Don't tell them, because uh, that would give away the location of our safe house, and then we would once again yeah. be within reaching distance of the U.S. government. Yeah. The hard, firm grasp of the United States government trying to bring us down. The long, hard dick of the law. <laughs> what are those blue things? What's, is it those? Those ones like nerve roots, kind of, where they give off a glow. Yeah, oh man, don't say that. I'm so excited for fucking Skyrim. I love God. Skyrim. Skyrim's the best game ever. If you check out our Shapeless Gaming page, you'll see that, uh, Tori's favorite game is Skyrim. My, I, I, I debated saying Skyrim, but I didn't want to be, you know, a no good copier. My, ga my favorite game's not Skyrim on that. Oh. Just, just so you guys know. It's, a, it's The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh. Which I think is one of the best crafted games of all time. But Skyrim was a very close second. You know, speaking of well crafted things, I just really want to bring up that I think the best crafted beer of all time that I'm legally not allowed to drink yet. Make golden light. Hold it up, I don't think I don't think they can see it. Make golden light. Exceptionally smooth. What's the uh What's the alcohol level on this? Probably Enjoy six. responsibly. See bottom for born on date. When born on? Yeah, when was it born? When were you born? What 15th of born? November. It was born on the 15th of November. That sounds like a patriotic date if I knew. Tori, uh, it's alright, I'll find this for you. It's 4.1. Would your mom buy this at Super America? That's a gas station. My I found out those are not everywhere. It. What? Yeah. Well, I know caribou isn't everywhere. But yeah. I mean, like, if you could enjoy caribou coffee, if over any coffee, why wouldn't you? If it's available, caribou coffee. Let's put Starbucks in the ground. And that should be their slogan. Also, I used to work there. So I but we're not we're not being paid by no 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 we don't still I don't still work I'm not on their payroll and anymore. we're not on, like no this is not no 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 I mean we're unsponsored we just we're powered by we're fueled caffeinated by caribou that's a good one caffeinated by caribou okay I'm gonna get off the beaten path. John literally beat the path, is what I'm trying to say. Like, he's beaten that path before. Mm -hmm. Like, it's about time he beats a new one. It was like one of those uh, superhero movies where you punch the ground and it sends a shockwave out, except for this one just paved a nice road. He did this pre-war. Being a beating a new one, I had a really good morning. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Hey, Fiddler's Green, let's change the subject. Go see what Fiddler's Green is. I was fiddling something this morning. God damn it. Thought you could change the topic without my direct consent? Not a fucking chance. I don't do anything. <laughs> I don't do anything with anyone's direct consent. That turned out a lot better in my head than it actually is out. It was a rape joke. Oh, Tori, that's not funny. Feral ghoul. Yeah, it was a joke. <laughs> Uh, we, were on, we were wondering if we could can you, share. Can you eat feral ghouls? I really hope so. 
sorry. Follow. Follow Mick Golden. has got me a bit dizzy. You guys were wondering if you wanted to have a party? We have a... Yeah, I brought the Mick Golden. Yeah, we have a cold tent. We, uh, we're hoping that you guys would want to enjoy the exceptionally smooth, cold-filtered taste of Michelob Golden. Eat you. That is a well balanced brew of coffee, let me tell you. The new squirrel. Take one. Take it. Is that a game? I think so. I want to play it. A baseball. I'm just going to take. I, I didn't even want a baseball, I just wanted to take what he had. Why does he have a paintbrush? A silver locket? Probably a precious loved one. A memory of theirs. All right, I'll bite. What is new squirrel? I really hope it's a game. I'm gonna be pissed if it's not. No, it's not a fucking game. Hello, my name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories. All right. Oh, this I is a child fiddler. Stories. This one is Listen to his voice. The There's not a squirrel. single day that's gone by that he hasn't diddled a child. Magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Sir, hollow tape too. What is going on? I'm gonna take some rat away and sleep. That was the worst story I've ever heard in my entire life. Hey look, a terminal. Whoa, let's unlock it. Drink, drank. Drank. <laughs> As in the past tense, we drank plenty of Mick Golden Lights in our days because I don't even drink it to get wasted. I drink it for the taste. The exceptionally smooth, cold filtered taste. Got it. Wow, I can't believe it was drank. Wow, that was so weird. That was convenient that it was drank. After we drank some Mick Golden Light. Yeah. Not because we're sponsored by them. No. Oh, it was... Want to know what was in the terminal? It unlocked the safe that we already unlocked. <sighs> well, let's go hunting. Wow, good thing we didn't just... Wow, things could have gone really poorly had I not gotten away fast enough. Aha! Huzzah! Look at how many rats you have. Take some rat away. You got. You better take it rat away. <laughs> I want death <gasps> to claim you this second. <sighs> if only there was a special elixir that could improve my puns. I think I found just I don't the think thing. I can pick this. This lock is too difficult. Where should nothing is too difficult. Not John. for John. Fucking see. I just want a bed. It's really all I'm looking for. I just want a warm bed, a good girl, and a nice cold ass fuck fucked it up. What do you want, Tori? You know what? I screwed over my words and now I just don't even want to say it again. Hey God! You want to get the fuck out of my trail? Dude, he just wanted to borrow a Michelob Golden Light. Ah, uh, those aren't for sure, Tori. The thing they help you share is good times. Yes, a bad roll. Yeah. All right, John, it's time to go night night and Betty bye now. Boston Bugle. The Boston Massacre. Is that a thing? I don't think so. I think you just made that up. I mean, the Boston Marathon. What's that? Nah, it wasn't a big deal, don't worry about it. Wouldn't that be funny if we weren't capturing this whole time? Shut up. One time I accidentally didn't hit capture, and we went through about a whole episode without capturing 
a, a single lick of gameplay footage. We don't talk about that. It was just footage of us. Yeah. Hey, man. Fuck, I'm I drank a whole cup of coffee and I'm still yawning. You know, this I is know, something about having a camera. Should we call this coffee break? What should we call this when we get Skyrim? Ooh, yeah, I really don't know. Where are you? Oh, shit. Shit. Go off. Get them. There's a lot of things we can call it. Uh, oh, he came in hot. Only to get shut down. Yeah, if anyone can think of some type of, like, sit down with a cup of coffee themed related name for a show once we start doing Skyrim, you let us know. Throw it in the comments, Twitter. Send us a handwritten note. A letter. A long hand letter. In cursive, obviously. <gasps> yeah. Because you had to learn that. Unless unless our audience is a lot younger than anything. I have no idea. I'm gonna eat a filet. A filet of fish. We're not sponsored by McDonald's. But if we were, that'd be cool. That would actually be really cool if we were. I mean, we're not sponsored by anyone. He can't hit me because he doesn't have arms. Ah. Do you think we can go to Sanctuary Hills and just kill everyone? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, we don't have anyone. We don't have anyone there yet. I don't only think. in a drunken rage should we do that. Well, Mick Golden Light doesn't actually help you rage. This is the kind of stuff that's going to get you in trouble. Mick Golden, live forever. Yeah, I, just, think, I think we, we just, just got to start, start making really like outlandish claims about Mick <laughs> Golden. Like, think of just, just things that are clearly not true, but say it anyway. Be like the Republican, like, convention. Just, like, just say things that are very not true, but just, if you believe enough that they are, did you just hit? You just need to believe. And if you believe strong enough, you'll have a couple people also rallying behind you, giving you a couple yeehaws. I think I just took one of his eyes off. That counts as a head, right? Take the other one. Yeah, that's the closest thing we can get. I think they only have one. Oh, that definitely get went off. Get the fuck. Yep. Nice try, Mr. Gutsy. Looks like you're Mr. Not Ballsy. Yeah, it looks like they should call you Mr. Pussy, am I right? Ha! <laughs> Mick Golden, don't be a pussy. Punch that. Don't be a fool. That might just be No, that's good. Hey, look, another one. Oh, it's oh, a white one. Checks out. <sighs> oh, it's a white one. Oh, don't. Oh, buddy. You don't want to mess with me. I slept off a few McGoldens. What is he wearing on his back? Huh? Ooh, wasn't wearing enough on his head, I'll tell you that much. I should have been wearing a helmet. <laughs> wow, the, your dog was stronger than you. You had a gun. Where'd he go? I, I think I think you punched him out of existence. <laughs> I think it created like a time, like a, t a hole in time. You just sent him back pre-war. I just did him a favor. Yeah. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, it's the ration stockpile. It's the Russian stockpile. Just take all of us. All right, folks, sell it. We'll kill him and sell his waiters. Jesus Christ. Punch it. I'm going to punch it. Just beat it. Jesus. Lord Almighty. That was awesome. Thing was shooting you from point blank and you were just punching it with your bare fist. They really should start wearing helmets. Shouldn't have limped in, you little pussy. Look at your stupid haircut. Stop trying to take drugs. Yeah, you have that legendary. 
Do you know who she down was? Swing. Oh, I, I hit him on the downswing. <laughs> he was falling. Don't fall that way, bud. John Cena's faced some pretty scary people in the ring. You're nothing compared to them. Time to stare down another turret. Scum. You're not even worth my time. I don't even look at you. Punched his stupid scarecrow head right off. Ooh, right away. I don't need guns. Stop giving me guns. Good dude, why do I always yawn when there's a camera on me? I think you're just thinking about it too hard now. I think I am. Uh, no, it's not filled with blood. That's the only time John's yeah. a bath. Blood or Nick Golden? I don't think a bath in either. Yeah, it's a person. Kill them. Oh! That was really satisfying because we saw that punch go all the way through. Yeah, it is. John doesn't smoke, but he knows he can sell them for a pretty penny to those who do. You're not thinking about your lungs. Ooh, ooh. Boy! Done. For the low. Look at that. I can't believe John did that first try. Did we ever doubt him? Not for a second. Because I know he'd come to that screen and punch me in the throat. Hey, guy, go get him. I saw my boss refer to me the other day. Guy? Yeah. He looked at me and he's like, I've met, this, I've met this guy many, many times. He's my boss. He just looked at me and goes, hey, guy, and walked out. That's the most disrespectful thing. Yeah, well, whatever. He's boss, man. Wait, isn't your boss your brother? No. <laughs> Big boss. Big boss. <laughs> yeah, we're not close. <laughs> hey, Guy. Maybe he was, like, maybe Guy Fieri was behind <laughs> him. <laughs> Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Guy Fieri. It's pronounced Fietti. I think he said it. Not that I like want to extensively this. research Guy Fietti, that'd be weird. No, not not a big fan. He owns two functioning restaurants. Nearby. What? I don't know. They're, I don't think they're nearby. Hey, um, let's go into this uh, ration stockpile. And let's go see if we can find some rations. Some rations of, uh, the only thing worth rationing out the thing, the, the people of the Wasteland were really concerned about when everything went up in flames. Mick Golden Light. Let's put that out front. It's got an exceptionally smooth taste. So I've heard. This is like the Triforce of not sponsored. <sighs> we just gotta have like a, like a, like a halo fall down yeah. on it. Just float. Do, 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 do. Ooh, cans, run into them. Let them know we're here. Come in loud and proud. Like the US military into Vietnam. We don't talk about Vietnam. We went in loud and proud to Afghanistan, though. Yeah, we did. Because, uh. Well, we, we threw them a bunch of guns and then we're like, hey, you guys can't do that. It's all an inside job. Thanks, Bush. And thank you, Anheuser Bush, for the exceptionally smooth taste of mid golden light. And nothing quite quenches the palate. Quite like golden light. Knuckles. Like a solid leather knuckles. Girthy leather left leg. A girthy one? A girthy one. You know how John likes them? Girthy. Girthy and bulbous. Like his first wife. Ooh, he was hanging on for dear life. To no avail. Hacking this is beyond me. Storage ah. lockup terminal. We should probably get that perk soon. I mean, John invented computers, so oh, he knows I don't even need to. Right. Look, I can just run right through here. Look at that. Really hope there is a stockpile. Hey, we're hoping there's a stockpile of some uh, some Anheuser-Busch uh, beer. Do you guys know where that could be? Like your character. And by that I mean it's really smooth. Boom. Berserker's switchblade. 
How much is it worth? 100. It doesn't matter. Take it. We'll sell it. Yeah, just because it was his. Yeah. Sad with hoses. Like, oh my. my. My area downstairs. There's a sack and there's some hoses. Yeah, more than one. Mm hmm. Like every good man should have. Hello, oh, you guys uh, are really like full filtered taste of my gold again. I should have used her body to shoot more. You should have. She was about to die. And what do we got in here? We got razor grain. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a beer. I don't even want to drink it though. Want to know why? Because there's only one brew that satisfies John Cena and myself and Tyler. And that's going to be the exceptionally smooth cold filtered taste of Michelob Golden Light. Time travel with Michelob Golden Light. See, look at that. I just time traveled. Whoa! It's now the future because no Mick Golden Light. Oh, yeah, does that matter? Head. Ooh! You punched his head into the brick wall. Ready? Yep. That popped off real easy. Kind of like uh, the virginity on my first wife. You popped it off? Like her head. It was the 80s, it was a different time. Yeah, it was the 80s. Things were much safer back then. Mm-hmm. Back when Ronnie Reagan was in charge. Goddamn American hero. Hey. Oh, well, they didn't, huh. know, they didn't know where the beer was. Didn't get to alert her friends. Should I come in all stealthy? Just like, hey. No. You don't know where I am. Run there and beat his fucking head I'm off. Why? I want you to run in there and beat him off. I took his head off. Are you proud of me, Dad? I'll never be proud of your son. <laughs> okay. That was reenactment of the last encounter he had with his father. I don't like to talk about it. Unless I get a few McGoldies in me. Gold. Repair the broken relationship with your dad. Even though, no, even though no, that's what caused it. <laughs> with the exception of smooth tape <laughs> golden. Is that a dildo? You, you wish. I do. I mean, not for me. Superman punch. Just taking bullets. Hey, you, hear me? you got lucky. Hey, Red Tourette's. Golden fight. Fight for the McGold. Fight for the McGold. Hey, you stupid Red Tourette. Oh, you're really cool. Look at your stupid red hair. <laughs> what is Golden, you? find the cure for red hair. Hold her up against the wall. Oh, you dropped her. Look at her arm. Shh. Go to sleep. Sleep tight, my sweet prince. Into the long nap. Take her belt buckle. It has a skull and crossbones. Oh, look. I don't think you can just take her belt buckle. Ted. I don't think oh, so, yeah. but. Wait a minute, Mr. Bowman. Twelve. Five. I'll take the lightweight ones, hell yeah. Alright. Those better? Yep. Cool. Let's get uh let's get John outfitted. Oh wait, I need that. Let's get him all dressed up, see how he looks. Ooh. Shoot. Shoot girl. You keeping it tight. <laughs> Shoot girl, you fit. And then the pocketed. Wait, no, that's eight. I want twelve. Drop that. That's not worth shit. Seven. Oh, that's dumb. I don't need that one. All right, we're good. I don't need a raider, right arm, or a left arm. Ooh. Cram. 
We're gonna see what John Clam, looks like, or thank you, Cram. Your family, him. Look at him, still in that captain's hat from the last time he saved. That's never coming off his head. No, no, he is a real marine now. Although he's always been a marine in the blockbuster film, the marine. Now where's that fucking stockpile? I'll take a fusion core. That's worth a pretty penny. Did we kill everyone? We killed everyone. All right. We went hunting. It was a successful hunt. Yeah. I mean, we hunted the most dangerous game. Oh, this is it. Federal ration stockpile. This isn't where we were, was it? No, it was. Really? Yeah. Huh. And it's just right through here. Yeah. Boom. Huh. Well. Oh. It's gotta be that. How the hell do we get through? You gotta do it through the terminal, which we can. Oh. Oh, I got the password. Here we go. And here we go. Here it is. Could it be the most beautiful side I've ever seen? Better be a stockpile of Michelob Golden Light. Stockpile your hopes and dreams. Mick Golden. It's kind of a crappy it's stockpile. It's beautiful, Tori. There's nothing shh, there. Shh. We're going to walk in and we're going to just shittily, crudely post in. Just a. Just. 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 Not even a bunch of, just like one big can that not even yeah. looks like it's in the room. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, the stockpile. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's everything we wanted. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> we knew this would pay off in the end. Move. I feel like it's that moment where they're like, move that bus. And we're just like, <gasps> there we have it. There we have it, folks. <gasps> the the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at the, the largest can of Michelob Golden Light this world has ever seen. Well, there we have it. That's all we have for today's episode. Thank you so much to Michelob Golden and to, to Michelob Golden for uh, powering through the episode. Not, not sponsoring, sponsoring. Not sponsoring. Not sponsoring for powering, but for the powering episode. the. Thank you, Mick Golden, for your exceptionally smooth taste, and thank you, Mick Golden, for bringing back my dad. Until next time, this has been John Cena Diaries. If you like the show, feel free to message us on Twitter. I'm at Lurking Lion. I am now at Subtly Cool. And uh, those will be in the description. And if you have any uh, ideas for our Skyrim series, as far as titles or anything else goes, um, go ahead and send those in the comments, send them on Twitter, and we'll see you next time. And if you also love Mick Golden Light, be sure to like the video. <laughs>